Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are all ready for Team of the Season right now in FIFA 23, but we have one question. Where is it and when is it going to start? Now, we have some brand new information dropped inside of the game. It's actually in the game right now that might be telling us Tots could be as early as this Friday and kind of brings some hype back to the potential that Tots may be just two days away. But we'll talk about that. Will we see confirmation about that today via a loading screen? Or will we be left waiting another week and a couple days before Team of the Season drops on this game? And we have to talk about the crazy news from yesterday. Is EA nerfing our cards with hidden injuries hiding behind some of these cards we got to talk about that and how that could be true but also how it could be just a visual glitch we're going to talk about that in the market of course in his video as always if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's start with a little bit of a content overview from yesterday it's going to be short because there wasn't much yesterday right we had the luis figo sbc which the price on this is not that amazing it's around 500,000 coins a little bit above that for a card on the market that goes for less than five 500k kind of an outdated icon if you're a Luis Figo fan definitely worth a craft it's not that expensive overall but not that amazing value that was literally our only SBC that we had yesterday now there were other upgrades and other movements though because we did end up seeing the fantasy foot upgrades and there were some nice ones right we got that Jota plus two he's now a 92 rated uh, card Kind of looks like a TOTS level card, 92 pace, 92 dribbling, 90 shooting. This is the upgrade that we were waiting on for so long on this Jota card. His price really hasn't moved that much, and you'll notice a theme with a lot of these guys that got upgraded. They really did not move that much. I think Oop Makano was one of those that's up maybe about five to 7,000 coins. He got a plus one. He's now 90 rated, right? Still some upgrade potential for a few of these cards, but we're getting towards the end of the road for a lot of them where their team is still having to keep uh, a clean slate of no losses for them to get another upgrade or maybe some of these guys just need one more goal or assist or a clean sheet. Ruben Diaz up to a 92. There were a couple interesting ones like Benteke and NDA that got plus twos, which now pushed them up to another level of the fodder range, right? Uh, Benteke is an 88 rated card. He was an 86. So he goes up to a 25, 26,000 coin card. He's actually one of the cheapest 88s right now on this game. Same thing with NDA. Since both of these guys got upgraded, uh, they are now like the cheapest 88. So I know some people are making some coins off of that. GG's if that is you. Those uh, investments are kind of working out nice. But that happened yesterday during the Champions League. And speaking of Champions League cards, with the final scores that we saw yesterday and with some uh, Milan fans being very excited and, of course, some Real Madrid fans being excited, we have cards that are down bad. And actually, one right here in Fofana that is up in value with the Benucci market crash on center backs and with nobody really expecting Chelsea to come back and win. Fofana's price really did not drop after the game. In fact, it is up because a lot of people went and said this is their chance to buy Fofana. We happened we happened to see this earlier on in the year with Firmino. Remember Liverpool got knocked out. They weren't expected to come back and win against Real Madrid. And Firmino's card actually rose up after the game. Well, it's a lot down more now since the market has completely crashed since then. But we kind of saw the same situation with Fofana. People that wanted to buy this card for their team were waiting till after the game because they thought that was going to be the lowest point when everybody would be selling. But really, as we see, a lot of people had already sold and this price was kind of at its lowest point right during the game or right after the game was over, like for a quick minute. And then he went up, right? He was 180 before. Before the game, went down to 168 when they were losing and then actually went back up in price. Now he has 190,000 coins. There's going to be some more fluctuations with this card and, of course, with Team of the Season upcoming. I still think a card like this is probably going to drop in value a little bit more. But if this is a card you really wanted for your team, um, he has kind of gone up a little bit in price. And I feel like he's much more of a fair value at the moment. Now, some interesting price drops on Raspadori, right? So many people are backing Napoli to make a run in the tournament. And Milan knocking them out yesterday dropped this card 70% in price. He was down from 170k, which was already down, right? This guy was 200,000 coins, um, you know, a couple of days ago. He was down to 170k. 
Yesterday before the game, and he went all the way to 43,000 coins. Now, I don't own any of this guy, but for 45, 47,000 coins, you get a 91 pace, 90 dribble, and 90 shooting four star, five star striker in the Serie A with incredible position changes, good links. This is one of the best budget strikers in the game by far. But the price of this is just crazy with how much he has dropped off. Of course, no more upgrades for him as Napoli are out of the tournament. This is not a card that I think is a, like a super. Super awesome investment right now. I feel like if you can get low 40k range, it is pretty good. This is definitely better than fodder, but it's one you're probably going to have to hold on to a while before we see it go up, and it's going to take some more Serie A links, maybe Serie A team of the season, which is like over a month away for it to really go up that much, but it is a really, really good budget striker. Now, Alaba also, we talk about it all the time. These guys often drop after the game, and Alaba with Real Madrid, this, this card's getting an upgrade, right? He is going to be getting a plus one inform upgrade and also three new trades, but he is down 871K. I'm tempted to buy this because he was 990K yesterday, but I think he might go a little bit lower this morning. We'll just have to watch out for that. Um, there's not a ton of panic right now on the market, but I I think he could go a little bit lower for some of those guys that were maybe trying to sell this card as they always try to sell after the game and his price didn't actually go up. He probably will have a bounce. He is really rare and he is going to get an upgrade, but we've got more games today. So watch out for Barella and all those guys that are in action today like Goretzka uh, and stuff like that. So watch out for those because that was more exciting yesterday than a lot of the other content that was released on this game. But let's talk about team of the season, right? That's what we're here for today because the TOTS hype is building, especially now that when you go into the game, and we noticed this yesterday, um, a couple hours after content, if you go into the game, you can see the team of the season card design has been added into the game. It's not just added to the code, right? We saw a foot scoreboard tweet this card design out yesterday. Guys, it's in the game. And this really threw us for a loop yesterday because it got us excited about team of the season potentially coming this Friday because once we see a card design added to the game, that usually means that the promo is coming really, really soon, right? Oftentimes, we don't see card designs added and then just sitting in the game for like weeks on end before the next promo comes out. That has happened so few times this year. We've had a couple... Uh, of discrepancies there like the road to the final card designs were in the game since the beginning of FIFA but the team of the season design being in the game right now makes me think we're gonna see team of the season cards here really really soon so with that in mind and some of the other leaks that we have kind of surrounding team of the season there's a lot of like is it true? Is it going to be this Friday or is it false? Is it not going to be this Friday? That card being there makes us think it might be Friday, but still, what are the arguments against that, right? We still have a season with eight days left and you think about the rewards for the TOTS rewards. It would make sense for EA if they're going to put team of the season cards in red picks, which is like kind of a given during team of the season. They do it every single year. If they're going to do that, it would make sense for them to do that um, after the season is over. And of course, we've got eight days left on the season. So that would make it seem that next week, the 28th is still the favorite day for team of the season to be dropped. But yesterday with that card design in the game, uh, it got us really hyped, man. And it really was like, wow, is there a potential that this promo could be dropped? dropping this Friday. I still personally think that it is going to be dropping on the 28th. We will have to see. And the rewards are probably my biggest thing um, that kind of makes me feel like it's going to be on the 28th instead of the 21st. I would like the 21st. I think the voting started early enough for it to be the 21st. But the thing that's really going to set this all to bed today and put this argument to rest is, do we see a loading screen? Because I cannot see a game today where if we do not see a loading screen, there's no way that TOTS is starting Friday because that would be the shortest kind of like loading screen and maybe they do the start of like a warm-up series promo right uh, maybe today on Wednesday if that were to be the case that's like the shortest possible notice we've ever had and the least amount of hype in a build-up to a team of the season promo that we have ever had so I feel like it is almost impossible uh, that it's still going to be this Friday. I mean, it is possible because we have the car design in the game, but I feel like the chances are pretty slim and I do believe it is going to be next week. Now, if I'm wrong, then man, EA has just got us all guessing right now. And honestly, we have no idea what it is. So we're completely guessing at this point, pulling on strings and just kind of using it, our tinfoil hats to try to come up with some sort of theory. But that's kind of how 
I feel. And uh, I know that's just a big topic of conversation right now, so I wanted to bring it up and really make it the main point of this video. Now, also, we have some leaks, and I want to show you guys a new leak account. We've looked at it a couple times now. Guys, I think this account, we, I think it's legit, all right? FIFA U team, uh, Nikki and EAFC Insider, these guys, they post each other in their leaks all the time. I think these guys are legit because they have been spot on with all the leaks, and they have a very interesting one here. And this kind of, in my mind, points towards a TOTS warm-up series promo starting uh, either today or starting on Friday and maybe TOTS coming on the 28th because he, have, he said here that these players are going to be re-released in objectives. El Shirali for birthday, uh, Subas Life Fantasy, Jordi Alba Centurions, and Willick Future Stars. Now, when we see this, we're like, what in the world could this be a part of? And what it really reminds me of right now is we have got objectives in uh, the game at the moment that is under the draft objective, right? You play draft games, and we've seen this a couple times now, but you get actual cards, right? You get the Kalini Winter Wild cards, you get Rebic, you get Kudus and King. So I really wonder if that's going to be some sort of objective grind with those players that we will see as a part of the TOTS World Up Series promo. So that's one thing to look out for. The prices for those guys on the market, I don't think they're down like crazy right now. El Shira was actually somebody that I was trading with and his price has been up recently because of all the Serie A links. If you have this guy in your team, I would take the safe route and I would look to sell him because if he is releasing objectives, they're putting that card out for basically free and his price is absolutely going to take a hit because people are going to be able to attain that card for free. All those guys, right? Jordi Alba, Suba Sly Willick, and Al Sharawi. I would not mess around with that because they would definitely drop in price if that were to drop in the game today or this weekend. The other thing is... We have some packs that we love to see during Team of the Season added into the code. 81 times 11 league upgrades. For me, that means 81 times 11 Bundesliga, Premier League, La Liga, all those different league specific upgrades. I think that uh, is going to be as a part of this league here. I think that's what that means. So just to kind of put that out there, these are the two like Team of the Season um I guess, focused leaks that we have right now. Other than that, we just have the car design and we're hoping for some more information. So today could be some confirmation with the loading screen or it could just be another quiet promo day. And that could mean good things for the market. I want to take a look at the market right now because a lot of you guys may be like, Nate, team of the season is coming. I got to make some coins. The market right now is actually really good for trading. Marquinhos and some of these other center backs that were down horrendous because of the Bonucci SBC are starting to rebound back. Take a look at Desai. Desai is up over 100,000 coins in the last two days. He was 500k flat. He's now six. 100,000 coins. And as I take a look at some of these other center backs that I've been watching with, uh, recently, maybe like Winter Wild, Wild Cards, Varan and Tamori, some of these guys, I think Varan was like 300K or maybe a little bit under that. I saw him at 350 earlier today. Is he still 350? He is, right? So he's rebounding back up in price. There's been a lot of cards that have started to go back up and it's just showing signs of a bit more of a healthy market as people are buying and selling cards and they're not as like scared and afraid of team of the season. Uh, could that change in a flash with a loading screen today? Absolutely. Could that change with uh, some leaks and some confirmation about what is to come? Absolutely. But some of these center backs are bouncing back and some of your Serie A cards just continue to go higher as people are building out and buying cards for their team. You get towards this part of the week and I think a lot of people are playing their champs qualifier matches to try to get points for the weekend league because remember guys, like we said, during team of the season, the rewards that we get as reds, 230 for Kavicha, that's really low. Low. Um, the, reward, the rewards we get as Reds are team of the season cards, and there's so much hype for team of the season in that regard. If I were you and you want to get ahead right now, grind those qualification games out and try to get as close as you can uh, to getting prepared for playing in the weekend league or get your weekend league qualifiers already played maybe and just save the token if you're not going to play this weekend save yourself some stress and qualifiers next week before we get to the actual start of team of the season that will kind of put you a little bit ahead if you're not somebody who plays weekly that often or you need to play some rivals games to get your points up there's going to be so much demand there and i think that's part of why the market is doing pretty well is people are playing games they're playing their qualities 
I mean, they're playing the full birthday cup. That doesn't really bring a lot of gameplay demand for buying cards for teams, except for lower rated ones. But the market is still really, really good if you're trading with fluctuations. I made a good amount of coins yesterday. I'm not putting a lot of coins into flips. I still have like 90% of my coins liquid, but I'm just doing some small things, right? Listing for lazies. I bought three Joel Coles at 68, 69K, listing for 79 to 80K. I got one lazy so far. I got two more to go, that sort of thing. Uh, just some other small flips in here as well. Some Raspadores yesterday before he absolutely got destroyed in price. You can see I sold a couple for 180, sold a couple for 95, and, and now my guy is 40K. So I'm still flipping a few cards. The market is doing well, and it's a good time to trade and to be focused on getting that kind of going before team of the season actually is here. Now, before we go into a couple more things, I want to talk about today's content. Today on Wednesday, is it going to be another slow day, right? We do have a team of the week that we are hoping to see today that would maybe be a little bit juiced. And as I look around Twitter right now, I don't see many leaks about who's going to be in team of the week. We do have a prediction that we always take a look at every week. The big card for today is Anthony. Is Anthony going to get a card? Who is going to be uh, representing Liverpool as well from the massive win they had on Monday? They should get some sort of representation in Team of the Week as well, whether it's Salah, whether it's Jota, it's whoever else is going to get in Team of the Week. I think Anthony is one card you got to keep a close watch on today, especially with the ones to watch, um, because if Anthony gets a uh, inform, I think his card would be really, really cracked. That's the wrong uh, card. That's not Anthony. That is Antonio. But if we take a look at Anthony's foot birthday, his ones to watch is an 86. His first inform, a one boost would be an 85. A double boost, because they're double boosting informs, would take him to an 87. So that means his inform would maybe be 87 rated today, and his ones to watch would go up to an 88 or an 89 potentially. Uh, it's 47,000 coins. It's actually down a little bit. He was uh, up at about 50, 51K. So watch out for Team of the Week today. We'll see if it's cracked. Hopefully it is. Uh, we had a really good Team League a couple weeks ago. This last week was just average. Hopefully that's good today. We have no other leaked SBCs and no other leaked content to expect right now in this game as well. That's another thing where it's like, hmm, is EA going to drop a Team of the Season warm-up series um, before we get to team of the season or we are are we not actually going to get a warm-up series we believe that we're going to but are these packs that have been added to the code all packs we're going to see during team of the season and ea are not going to try to do a warm-up series like they have uh in previous times it seems like that's not the case i bet they will do one um, and you know, maybe we could get some sort of like other content today, still a small gamble pack SBC. Maybe, you know, we have the 84 times seven, maybe some sort of campaign player pick comes back today or something along those lines. But it also just might be a really quiet Wednesday before we get closer and closer to team of the season. Now, last thing I want to talk about in this video is what we mentioned in the intro, talking about EA nerfing cards okay and this is something that it was really brought up yesterday i think somebody found it uh and it's a really interesting point and it's kind of a glitch i think it really is i just don't believe it's really impacting the game that much so what you can see here is like i know from looking at the web app right that's where you see a lot of this you see the injuries right here you go to the player details tab on the web app you can look at your squad and you can see if your players are injured and people are noticing this is a screenshot from twitter uh from somebody who is posting their squad on Twitter, you can see here that his Maldini has an upper body injury. And some people are saying, man, this is why some of my players have been feeling so rough in game or maybe not as meta. Are they being, um, you know, are they injured in game and are their stats being affected? Is there something in here that is actually affecting their stats? Because on the web app and on the companion app, it shows that they do have a current injury well again like i mentioned for the messy card that is in my team he shows in the web app as having a knee injury but when i go into fifa and look at his card it says that he does not have an injury so if i'm going to be completely honest guys i know there's a lot of people reading into this kind of a tinfoil hat theory there's a lot of those in this game right we always are thinking about reasons why ea may or may not do things I think this is just a visual glitch because honestly, you know, right? You can't use a player in your squad when that player is injured, right? You have a little bandage kind of icon above the card and you have to either apply a consumable or put them on the bench before you can use that card again. Um, and it's, it's games, right? The injury duration number of games is played out. Um, so you can't use that card if it's injured and I can still use my Messi, even though on the web app, it says 
that he has, what is it, either an arm or an elbow or upper body injury. I forget what it is. Um, and I don't think this Messi feels any different in game. Now, I do know that, I, honestly, bro, I've heard a lot of people talking about complaining gameplay this week. I'm right there with you. I think the gameplay this week has been really not good. And I think it really boils down to one specific game mode. And it's this Trophy Titans Cup. Like, it is absolutely woeful in this game mode. Uh, whether it's everybody's playing it or... It's on different servers, but it's a night and day difference from what I played on Sunday Foot Champs to Monday Trophy Titans Cup. The gameplay is not the same at all, and it feels terrible in that cup mode, and it's making me not want to play the cup mode, if I'm being completely honest. But we're still trucking through it, uh, and I wanted to bring that up today because I literally don't think EA go out of their way to try to find... Um, things like this to try to make our lives worse in the game uh, i don't think ea do that i really don't like that would discourage people from playing if it actually was to happen i honestly still think that that is just a visual glitch because if it does not show your player injured in game then your player is is not injured right the game kind of trumps everything we know the companion app and the web app have been so glitchy this year on multiple different levels so i think that's just a glitch and really does not have anything to do with player statistics in the actual game. So today's a big day. Will we learn more about the team of the season or will we be left waiting once again for more news, more leaks, and more info? Hopefully there's a surprise today for us. You know what? If EA wants to drop tots on Friday, let them do it, right? Surprise us, EA. The car design, though, looks lovely and it's in the game. So hopefully we just get some sort of news today. If you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys on Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan with Account and catch you guys there. Peace.